Hey, what's up everybody? It's time for Take 5. I'm so excited to be with you for another week of this of Take 5, so let's jump in. We've been talking the last two weeks uh, about living a lifestyle of excellence, and our title of the message has been Your Reasonable Service. Our main text has been Romans 12 and 1, which says, I beg you, brothers and sisters, because of the great mercy that God has shown us, to offer your lives as a living sacrifice to Him, one that is holy, one that is acceptable to God. This is your reasonable service. So Paul says, I want you to live lives of excellence, live a living sacrifice to God. And then he says, this sacrifice should be holy, it should be acceptable to God, and then it should be reasonable, right? This is a reasonable thing to do. We learned that the word holy in that verse means that it should be consecrated for God only. That our lives and everything in our lives and everything that we do should be to bring glory to God, to serve Him in an excellent manner. That means that our job and our spiritual lives and our relationship with God, uh, in our moral lives, in our, in our relationships, and in everything that we do, we should do them for God and for His glory. And then Paul said that you should offer this living sacrifice and it should be acceptable to God, which means that it should be something that He agrees with, something that pleases Him. And then the last thing that he said, which is just so awesome, he said this is your reasonable service, which just means it's rational, it's logical, it's, it's common sense judgment. I mean, this, 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 it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that because of all that God has done for us, that he deserves from us our very best at a minimum. And so we've been talking about our reasonable service and how we should live lives of excellence. And I want you to remember and understand, and this is very, very important, that, that no matter what you do, we're not talking about working for our salvation. There's nothing that you can do or not do to earn, God, to earn God's love or to earn salvation. But still, we should be striving to live lives of excellence for God. We learned that, that God not only wants this, desires this, expects this, but He really he demands that we live lives of excellence in every single thing that we do. But the problem is we all have this sinful nature in us that causes us to, to want to be apathetic, to be lazy, to be careless. And, and so we really have to fight against the sinful nature in order to live lives of excellence. This is not something that you can do haphazardly. You have to be intentional about be, living a life of excellence in your service to God. I said it yesterday, and uh, I want to say it again. T.D. Jakes' his mother, he, he said that his parents taught him that laziness was like a disease that you should run from. And I think that's, that's really, he, was, he meant it in a joking manner, but I think it's really powerful. I think that we should look at laziness and apathy and procrastination and carelessness and all of the things that, that we struggle with so often in our service. I think we should look at them really like sin, like a disease that we need to run from, that we need to stay away from at all times. So there are really five things that we can uh, remember when, when it comes to you know, our lives and living a lifestyle of excellence, five areas in our life that we really need to focus on. The first one is personal excellence, uh, you know, just in our day-to-day -day lives, how we live our lives daily. Should, we should do that in a way of excellence and service to God. Vocational exit, uh, excellence. At our job, we should do uh, everything that we do at our job, we should do with excellence because it can bring glory to God. Relational excellence in our marriages and our friendships, in our relationships with our parents and our children and in all of the relationships in between that, we should strive to do those things and serve the people in our lives with excellence. We should uh, strive for moral excellence. That's, that's with our character and our integrity and, and all of those things. We should strive to serve God in an excellent manner there. And then the last thing, but definitely not the least important, is spiritual excellence. We should always strive in our personal relationship and devotion to God to serve him with excellence. So in those five areas, we really, really need to focus. And really those five things sum up the totality of our life. Everything can kind of be placed in, 
you know, uh, in the boxes of, of those five things. And so the first week that we talked about our reasonable service, we learned that excellence must be a wholehearted endeavor. And we read Mark 12, 30 that said that we should love the Lord our God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And the Passion Translation said that we should love God with every passion of our heart, with everything that's in us, in everything that we do, we should show our love for God by the way that we serve Him. That living sacrifice, something, a sacrifice that's holy, that's acceptable, and that is pleasing to Him, we should do that in everything we do in life. Every single area we should serve God with every passion of our heart. So excellence must be a wholehearted endeavor. And then yesterday we learned, and this week we will discuss and break down further through intake five, we learned that excellence always abounds more. We'll talk about that the rest of this week. Hey, I hope you have a great day today. I'll see you tomorrow morning right here at Take Five.